eWeb is moving forward with its plan to launch a pilot project using smart meters, but not everyone is thrilled about this wireless technology. KEZI 9 News reporter Chinu Her talked with eWeb about the concerns and how those meters work. Chinu? Renee, eWeb says the smart meters will allow them to remotely read consumption data, and those against it are speaking out about the opt-in project that was approved at a board meeting yesterday. Concerns about the smart meters vary. Some have taken to social media to let their opinions be heard. On KZI's Facebook page, many made the message simple, we don't want them. Comments range from worries about costs to health. eWeb says the technology in these meters isn't anything extreme. I think uh, a lot of the concerns about uh, radio frequency are vastly overstated. Um, we live in a society with cell phones and wireless everywhere. This is a one watt radio and we just don't believe that, that there are health issues at all. Joe Harwood with eWeb says this is just a new technology, but at the end of the day, it's an old concept. Right now we have to send uh, a meter reader to the side of their house, to their backyard to read it. Um, the good thing about this, this uh, low powered radio is it allows us uh, to remotely read meters. He believes there are misconceptions now, but as more people choose to opt in and voluntarily get the smart meters installed, the word of mouth will help its popularity. We, we do think once um, some of the pilot programs have gone through and people are opting in, they're going to tell their friends and neighbors, and uh, we think it's just going to spread because people are going to see the obvious benefits. Harwood believes both consumers and eWeb will benefit from this now and in the future. Our plan is to meet all future load growth through conservation. We don't want to build new power plants. We don't want to uh, try to invest in new wind farms. We want to use the uh, electricity that we already generate more efficiently. Harwood says since it was approved by the board, he's already received emails from volunteers to be part of the project, which he thinks is a good outlook for the meters. Live in the studio, Chinu Hurricane, KZI 9 News.